Hey everyone, Derek here from Badger Land Birding. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the KR FP2450 tripod. It uh, has a fluid head, it's made out of aluminum, it's about 120 bucks right now on Amazon. I've actually used it before, but I ended up uh, giving mine away to somebody because they liked it so much, so pretty cool, that's a good review in itself. Uh, but we're going to open up this new one and take a look and see what you're going to get from it. So the reason I actually wanted to look into something like this, I normally use a heavier video tripod because in the areas I go there's a lot of wind and I like having something heavier to kind of stabilize. But uh, I was going to be in Costa Rica and to get to one of the places we have to take a Sansa flight on the way out and there's a weight restriction. So I wanted something a little lighter, a little easier to use um, for that trip. And so I decided to get this tripod. Here we go, so nice bag right off the bat. Uh, that's always handy if you need to carry a tripod somewhere. Um, let's take a look inside. On the outside, we have an extra little um, little clip plate here. Also some tools and some uh, screw-ins for the legs. So if you're on like grass and you wanna take off the rubber feet, you can add these metal feet in. Also a couple Allen wrenches. So it's really nice to have this backup stuff just right here in the pocket. That's probably where I'm going to leave it just in case I, you know, want to go retrieve it and use it for something. All right, here we go. So this is the main body of the tripod. We can see the legs here. Let's take this off. Here we are. So these actually come down like this. So it sits up like this and then your camera actually goes up here on this top section. So these these legs where you just kind of pull them to open up or close them, I didn't like them at first. Um, I found them kind of the ones that are all connected. You can just kind of pull them all open at once. But I actually grew to kind of like these and their adjustability. This feature is also really nice having these. So if I push them in, it locks how far the legs can go out. But if I pull them out, then I can extend the leg further. So if there's a bird way up above that I'm trying to get a video of, if these can only extend this far, I might not be able to pan the head up to get it. But if I open this up and move this leg all the way back, then I'm able to get a different angle on the bird. So I actually really appreciate these and that feature in general. So we'll push all these in for now. And then this collar here, this is, extends this up and down. So this is useful if you want some extra height. So this one is gonna be kind of your handle. So you can put it on either the right or the left side. So I don't really prefer mine on the right. So it just fits in and then screws in here. And then if I'm using it, I'll put it out like this. And then you can uh, tilt it up and down. We will unlock this on the side here and this allows the fluid head to tilt up and down. It's really smooth motion. And then if you're at the correct spot, then you can tighten it and then it stays there. So that's a really nice feature. This one down at the bottom here, if you open that up, then you can tilt side to side. So really smooth. I was really happy with how these kind of worked as far as the fluid head components. Um, this little plate, so this you take off by loosening this, so turning it to the left, and then you have to hit this button on the side. So right now it's not gonna slide out, but it's loose. So if we hit this button, then we can pull it out this way and it comes off. It has a, two different sizes for attaching it to your camera. So we, I believe it's the smaller one. So we'll take, we'll take the bigger one out. And then that actually fits into the tripod itself right here in case you need to switch out while you're out in the field. So make sure this is tight so that this doesn't fall out. I've had one of my tripods, I took it on a boat ride and some of the components actually like wiggled their way out and I lost some stuff. So. Make sure that these are all tight so you don't lose anything. Now here's uh, an example camera. This is a Panasonic Lumix FC80. And this, it has an arrow to show you which way it goes on. 
this can screw in right here. You can do it by hand. You can also use a coin. I think larger coins don't really work for these, just kind of the way they're shaped, or like an Allen wrench. You can also use to tighten these, but while I was out, hand tightening worked pretty well. So now we have our clip on. And if you're not using your tripod, you can just kind of carry your camera around like this. And um, then when you need to, you go to your tripod, you slide it in the front here. So I'm gonna take it off my neck. You slide it into the front and it won't go in all the way until the button is pushed. Or I guess it actually, you don't have to push it. It just kind of snaps into place. So it's in place. It's not gonna come out now but it's not tight. So then we have to take this on the right and tighten it all the way. And what bothered me at first with this setup is I couldn't tighten it all the way with the camera on. And that was really frustrating um, until I figured out that you could take the thing off and kind of preload it almost. So if we tighten it most of the way to, and this also you can open it up and move it. So if you are not at the right angle, you can flip it open and move it. Um, kind of pre-tighten it almost. So we'll bring it, we want it about here. So then when we put our camera on, when we put our camera on, then we only have to tighten it a little bit to make it tight all the way. So now we're fully on there, our camera's not gonna fall off at all, it's not gonna move around. If it's too loose, sometimes it'll be videotaping and it'll slide around. So you wanna make sure that the clip to the camera is on tight and that you're tight here. So then these legs, I like these that you just open up and then they come out. So you can extend this as long as you want. That actually does end up getting pretty high when you're all the way out. So we're not gonna extend the legs for now, but you can. And then the rubber feet on the bottom are also pretty nice. You can screw them on and off and replace them with the metal feet if you want. I did end up losing one of these rubber feet, like it came off. I did end up finding it, and I think it was because I put one foot on the ground first, and then I assume it became loose over time. And uh, these do, these legs, this leg does come off because you can turn it into a monopod. I didn't take advantage of the monopod feature. I was fine with it just being a tripod. If I wanted to kind of use it as a monopod, I just kind of put the legs down and, um, and used it like that. I have heard from other people that it's a bit of a process, like you need to use some Allen wrenches, I believe, and it takes a little bit. So don't think you can just like go to a monopod immediately. But as far as bird photography goes, I got used to it pretty quickly. I really like the fluid head on it. Um, it really is smooth for moving up, down, and sideways. One thing I did kind of miss is that on one of my bigger tripods, there's a thing down here you can unscrew and you can move the camera head this way, which you can't do for this. So you're either up or down, side to side, or you have to adjust kind of the legs to get um, a different, different view. So I did kind of miss that. But uh, I really enjoyed using this tripod overall. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it's a good price. There is a carbon fiber version of this that's more expensive too. It's a little bit lighter, which I am curious to check out at some point because I think carbon fiber is just a really cool material. But I had a really good experience using this tripod in Costa Rica. One of the main drawbacks was I did feel like it got kind of loose. This got kind of loose sometimes where it was moving around like it wants to unscrew. And every so often I just had to kind of move it this way to tighten it up. Um, so that was something I did notice and then also because it's not a huge bulky tripod it does move around in the wind a little bit but so does my big one so it's kind of it's kind of just something you encounter with tripods in windy environments is you're going to get a little bit of shaking from the wind. I would definitely recommend this one it's pretty light it's uh, pretty versatile and user friendly and uh, I had a really good experience using it.
Overall, the KR FP2450 Aluminum Fluid Head Tripod is a solid option for birders and photographers who want a lightweight, versatile tripod to use in the field. If you'd like to purchase this tripod or other birding and photography equipment, please consider using our Amazon Associates link in the description of the video, which allows us to make a commission from qualifying Amazon purchases. Please also note that we were not paid by Care or Amazon to make this video. Let us know what you think in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.